Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Now that Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex have officially stepped back as senior working royals, their fans are obsessed with figuring out how this power couple plans to make money. With millions in the bank, the Sussex family has a little bit of time to figure it out, unless they plan on purchasing that $36 million Vancouver mansion they reportedly been eyeing. But either way, they're going to need to figure out some kind of revenue stream if they want to continue enjoying the lifestyle to which they've become accustomed. Most fans assume Harry and Meghan will be exploring speaking engagements and other highbrow activities like a book deal or perhaps producing a worthy documentary. But some followers are drawing comparisons between Meghan and actress Gwyneth Paltrow. Could the Duchess of Sussex create the next big lifestyle brand? Meghan Markle will be weighing her next move carefully. The world is watching to see exactly what Meghan does next. Her first post, makes it decision might be her most important because it will set the tone for the rest of the transition. Even though the Duchess of Sussex would be wise to capitalize on her popularity right now, that doesn't mean we should expect a straightforward product line or perish the thought. There's a strong consensus that the public would react negatively to any move so blatant. Instead, Meghan will probably take a subtler approach that's closer to what she formerly had with her lifestyle blog, The Tig. Some fans are even predicting a reboot of that exact brand. How is Meghan Markle like Gwyneth Paltrow? The Meghan and Gwyneth comparisons are happening because both women are former actresses who have unique messages to spread. They also believe wholeheartedly in the causes they support and seem intent on expanding their missions, even if it costs them a few popularity points. And they both understand the California lifestyle with yoga, mindfulness, clean eating, and yes, being very, very cognizant of your mental health. This mentality is what made Meghan want to quit the royal family in the first place. She's pretty goopy. Goop Chief Content Officer Elise Lonan told The New Yorker of Meghan. Examining your feelings is goopy. Doing somatic yoga? working with a functional doctor. They may not be identical, but Gwyneth and Meghan have similarities. There's a chance Meghan Markle's new brand could look like Goop. Modeling her own lifestyle brand to match Goop wouldn't be the worst idea the Duchess of Sussex ever had. Because for all the mockery it receives, Goop has managed to remain relevant and successful for years which isn't guaranteed with so many other celebrity branding efforts. Sure, they may feature controversial products and advice, but there are just as many admirers as there are haters. And mixed in with the weird advice, Paltrow has some nuggets of wisdom that all ring true as authentically hers. The main reason Meghan's strategy might match Goop is that it's not so obviously intent on making money. A product line at Target would never work for the Duchess of Sussex. But some well-placed advice, documentaries, and interviews with influential voices could be precisely how Harry and Meghan should kick off their second act. Another analysis. What if Paltrow has made an impact with her high-end lifestyle brand Goop? This is how Gwyneth is unlocking the secret language of the universe one health tip at a time. American actress Gwyneth Paltrow is best known for playing big roles on the silver screen. She's been in titles including Marvel's blockbuster Avengers films to a kooky Wes Anderson flick. But in 2008, Gwyneth ventured into a new realm and launched Goop. What began as a weekly newsletter of health tips has become a global wellness brand while Goop has been slammed for its eye, watering prices, and off-the-wall health tips in a 2015 Goop post, Gwyneth extolled the virtues of steaming one's vagina. Gwyneth is currently in the UK to launch London's first-ever Goop Summit. 
Tickets to the event cost $1,300 for a day pass or $5,850 for the weekend. According to Goop's website, the summit will be an immersive wellness event held in Hammersmith. There will be talks from a Gwyneth Paltrow healers, restorative workshops yoga and plant based beats to feast on. Plus, all guests will get to go away with a Goopy swag bag. The Goop website event description reads, Gwyneth Paltrow sent the first ever Goop newsletter from her kitchen in London just over 10 years ago, and now we're thrilled to have the latest iteration of in Goop Health back home. Our summits are where we bring the spirit of those OG newsletters to life. Gwyneth Paltrow and our Chief Content Officer, Elise, will host panels and chats with cutting-edge doctors and scientists, thought leaders, and some of the people who inspire us the most. There will be restorative workshops and classes for the spirit, for the body, for the mind, and for beauty plus our signature retail hall and food from our local plant-based haunts. The Goop website is divided into shock, beauty, food, style, travel, wellness work, and men. Goop's shop sells everything at $238, singing bowl set, to $198 honey, down to in $10 charcoal toothbrush. While on the wellness part of the site, Gwyneth Paltrow gives guidance on how to unlock the secret language of the universe in an interview with author psychic medium Laura Lynn Jackson. In Jackson's book, Signs, she teaches others how to receive messages from the other side. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, stunned millions of royal fans when news broke that they were stepping down as senior royals. It wasn't long ago that people from all over the world tuned in to watch their royal wedding and welcomed Meghan officially into the royal family. Unfortunately for Meghan, the vitriol of hate she received when she was engaged to Prince Harry only increased when she got married. The media has treated Meghan unfairly since the royal wedding. And while many royals are subjected to intense scrutiny and criticism, Meghan's treatment seemed to take things to the next level. Not only was her privacy violated repeatedly, but she was also subjected to racist commentary. Things didn't even improve when she welcomed her now eight-month son, Archie, into the world. Instead, there were hundreds of news articles printed about Meghan, not knowing how to hold her own baby and condemning her for daring to take maternity leave. Prince Harry saw how the badly the media was treating his wife. Prior to the news of Prince Harry and Meghan stepping down as senior royals, the Duke of Sussex expressed his concern with the way his wife was being treated. He expressed that his deepest fear was to watch history repeat itself. He saw firsthand how the media could lead to a person's demise with his late mother, Princess Diana. He vowed that he would do everything in his power to protect his family. A man of his word, Prince Harry revealed in his statement that he and Meghan were taking a step back from royal life. They announced that they would be splitting their time between North America and the UK. It seems that for the time being, they have landed on Canada as a good dwelling spot for their small family. But why did they chose that locale? Glamour reported that in a recent interview for an ABC News special Royal Dubai, Harry, Meghan and the Crown, Prince Harry's close friend, Nacho Figueroa spoke out about why the royal couple made this decision. Nacho Figueroa, a close friend of the Duke of Sussex, has spoken in support of his and the Duchess of Sussex's decision to step away as working members of the royal family, saying that Prince Harry has suffered a lot. He's being a father. This is a guy who is trying to protect his cub and his lioness from whatever it takes, in spite of the place that he was given and all of the benefits and, and comfort that, that life has given him. He's, he's one of the most committed and hardworking people that I know. Nacho Figueroa explains why Prince Harry is leaving the royal family. I spoke to Harry a few days ago 
He has suffered a lot from all of the things that have happened to him. He wants to live a normal life, as normal as his life is going to be right. Because when you have a thousand paparazzi outside your house in Canada, waiting to get a picture of your son, that's not very normal. The soccer player shared about his long time pal. Of course, this wasn't the first time that Figueroa's has defended his close friend. When Prince Harry received flack for attending a charity polo match shortly after Archie was born, Higuera stood up for him in the media. Prince Harry wants a better life for his wife and baby. Figueroa's went on to share that Prince Harry's history with the media was another determining factor for the move. He's protecting his family, he's protecting his wife and his child, he was a son of someone that has suffered the attack from the press firsthand, and it's undeniable, and he doesn't want for that to happen to his family, Figueroa's concluded. Hopefully, Meghan and Prince Harry are able to eventually find the peace they're looking for. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.